Uh, hi. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. I don't see Twitch, so I don't like. I'm really bad at reading cues. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hello, welcome to episode two of uh, season twelve of Rivals of Waterdeep. Uh, twelve seasons in, and we're still okay at this. Um, I am your humble dungeon master, Latia Jaquise, pronouns she, her, and uh, pronouns of various NPCs being what they are. Um, but let's go around and introduce our wonderful cast. We are, uh, we're going to go the opposite way today, starting with uh, Masood. He's that way. Hey. No, I wasn't muted. I just thought for a moment I couldn't speak. Hi, I'm Masood. Uh, I play uh, Gazric Nomad. Both her pronouns are he, him. And our, uh, you know, intent today is just to get involved with this money, see what happens, and see where we go, you know? Get involved. Get yes. involved. <laughs> that sounds... Gazric has already sunk all of his money into the worst scheme ever and is already, like, poor again, so... You don't... You don't I, I mean, you're not far from the truth, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm writing get involved with money uh -huh. in my uh -huh. notes today. Gotcha. Uh, Eugenio, please tell us who you are. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am Eugenio. Uh, I'm DM Jazzy Hands on the internet, and today I am playing Kent, uh, our tiefling phantom rogue. Um, God, I don't know, y'all. That's a lot of money for fancy new cloaks. Right. <laughs> And you even found some fancy new cloaks in the And I found, so like, well, that's, so that's the other side, right? I have all this money. I can buy all the cloaks I want and have a cloak for every occasion. But also I now have a piece of armor that is literally a cloak for every occasion. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> Brian. Hi, uh, I am Brian. I play Virgil, uh, your SMR storm sorcerer. Both our pronouns are he, him. And uh, that's like yacht money, so. I'm just saying, that's going, yacht money. Are we going back out on the water, Virgil? I well, I mean, is your cloak waterproof? Is I guess the I question. Mean, okay, guess so that's what I'm be. spending my money on. There you go. <laughs> Inventing the waterproof spell. That is where all your yeah. money goes. Um, and uh, last but not least, we've got Tanya. Hey, y'all. I am Celise Astorio, your Paladin Ranger. Uh, she her pronouns for both of us and Celise honestly she would get herself a custom house built and be like deuces I'm Wait. going to relax in a hot tub <laughs> and move out what you mean I could actually have a space where I don't have duo in my room y'all being nosy and You'd miss our shenanigans and antics it'd be so quiet <laughs> I mean, exactly. I said we could. I, I said we can basically exactly. start expanding our property in the ward, and uh, you know, rename it. It might be the rivals ward now. You don't That's know. True. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just start buying up property, keep them rent slow. Exactly. Exactly. Everybody, exactly. remake all your maps now. It's rivals. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you will notice that we are down one Sharif Jackson today. He is, uh, you know, he's he's encumbered with a new NPC, um, and we wish him all the best <laughs> with uh, with uh, with with baby. Uh, we we love them and and miss him. Uh, and with that being the case, uh, I also played Dahani. I forgot about that. Uh, she's here. You know, just like she wasn't candle keep. She's here. <laughs> She's Honey already had to deal with a big bag of money. What what's she gonna do with a bigger bag? A bigger money? bag of money. Yeah. Right. Well, I guess I guess we'll see, maybe, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, mm -hmm. coin wasn't so important in, in back in Chult, so she's never had this much money. Mm -hmm. Um, but as always, uh, before we get started, we would like to give a big rivals thank you to those people who help us be who we are, do what we do, roll what we roll, and sound how we sound. So uh, our ad reads today are being taken over by Masood. Masood, take it away. Thank you. And I would love to say, you know, thanks to everyone who makes this possible. You folks watching us right now live, the folks who listen to the podcast, our Patreon supporters, as well as the folks who sponsor us for our show, who are able to provide it for all of you. We use D&D Beyond for all our digital character sheets and access to book content. You can always check them out at dndbeyond.com. There's usually some giveaways happening in the chat, so keep an eye out on that. 
Um, our dice trays and vaults are provided by Wormwood. Use codes RIVALS for free domestic shipping at, w, uh, at wormwoodgaming.com. You understand. Um, and we're proud to be sponsored by uh, Die Hard Dice as well. You can check them out at uh, dieharddice.com and use the code RIVALS for 10% off at checkout. Um, if you're looking for some cool geeky swag, if you're looking for some uh, dope t-shirts, if you're looking for a ru- uh, for a mug that says uh, caffeine activated, uh, sorry, engaged, you know, you can get it all at Stormcrow uh, and you can go w- at, at shop.stormcrow.com. Rivals uh, as upon checkout, you can get 15% off. Um, and then of course, we sound oh so smoky, uh, silky smooth being a part of the Rivals crew. No one tells Sharif I messed it up. He does it so good every time and I thought I would just nail it. Man, he makes it look so easy. You know, even when we mess up, you can hear it in crystal clear quality and accuracy thanks to Blue Microphones. Uh, if you go to crew.bluemic.com slash rivals, you can do some shopping and we appreciate uh, anything that you purchase from there. Uh, we love it. Uh, we are also now partnered with Idol Champions by Codename Entertainment. You type the uh, exclamation point code for this uh, week's free Electrum chat chest. Uh, and don't forget to unlock Shaka and Solis in game. Uh, and uh, there are other folks coming along the way as well. Tahani is now available. Uh, and we've got other people arriving just around the corner, perhaps. So let's keep an eye out. Um, we also want to take Warriors of Waterdeep. You can type uh, exclamation point wild gems to get free gems in game every week with our link. Want to learn more about Warriors? Type exclamation point OS WOW to download and install warrior, Warriors in your mobile device. Um, and that's it. Those are all the folks who make us possible. I like to throw it back to our GM, uh, Woosh Captain, and perchance if we get enough ships, Woosh Admiral Latia. Well, I mean, Brian is like, we can get yachts. And I'm just like, well, how much does a fleet of ships cost in, mm-hmm. in, in, in Waterdeep? I could be Woosh Admiral. Is that in the DMG? Oh, gosh. Mm. It's, it's, it's that, there's someone. In fact, I think it is. <laughs> yeah. I think it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us, let us jump in. Get your, you know what to do. It's time. Get those whooshing apparatuses ready and prepare to go previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. There they go. There they go. There go. And it's Zerdester coming in first with a blue and then we're doing it. Steven Drake is way out ahead. Oh, Trigger. 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 Oh, so last we appreciate <laughs> we appreciate all of you for uh for <laughs> yes, filling do. our chat with ratios we really do. Dude, were you feeling left uh, out? We do. No, I wanted to be included. I got a sub. <laughs> I've got gifted a subscription to our channel. <laughs> and so I have access to the email and I will I will resubscribe <laughs> once it runs out on my own money. And so in the meantime, while I have access, I, I these are the things that you get access to. In, enjoy them. They're great. Gosswick has <laughs> enough to buy you a sub now, so take care of that. Exactly. exactly. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. right. That's right. Right. So what happened last week, everybody? Gold. I'm going to just go look at the handy dandy notes that yeah. were oh, kindly you... left oh for my us. God. For this. Yeah. I, could you imagine? Someone was taking notes, which is great. No. Perfect. It was, it was um, fantastic. Um, we were in the caldera and... Uh, uh, for Kent and Virgil, uh, Vajra Safar, the Black Staff, and uh, Laryl Silverhand, the Open Lord of Waterdeep, came, just casually came by the manor. It's fine. Um, and we're basically like, hey, it's been like a few days. Do you think they're okay? And we were like, they we didn't should call, go find they out. didn't write, they didn't send <laughs> a know. message, they didn't send even anything through the Avernus okay. hole. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, the Avernus hole. Avernus first. I cannot wait to make use of the Avernus hole. So anyway, we were like, yeah, we should probably. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm continuing on. Going. We should probably go and I can't. Must keep going. And make sure they're okay. So Vajra and Laryl t- <laughs> took us to the Frostfell to join our friends, uh, where we encountered them as they were preparing to go loot a dragon horde. And they did. And they and they did. <laughs> we did. We I and mean so well, they, yeah. Um we, there was a lot of talk of Gosric having questions about um, what was in the Dragon Horde, when the Dragon Horde would be available, how much of the Dragon Horde we could take. Could we take all of it? And 
The Earth Druid seemed very, very patient. <laughs> she very, was. very, very she patient. She really was. About this. Patience, patience of a ding dang saint. <laughs> oh goodness. Um. Uh, oh, the um, the oh, yeah, the, no. the left the the one the oh goodness, it was like the Zanlock Rapture, and that one got left behind. Right. Uh, still tied up. <laughs> Cause yeah, that the like. Can you imagine this entire like time that. having to having to be tied up to a cot, listening to one floor up the rivals like beating the crap out of a dragon and just mm-hmm. like, and then nothing no. for days, probably <laughs> like, nothing. Um... nothing, right? And then people just started like, and people are back doing things around and just like still there, just chilling. Oh man, I but uh... if I heard, oh sorry, no, no, please, <laughs> no, you go. Uh, I was just going to say, like, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff happening, uh, and eventually we got back to him, untied him, and someone put a scrying spell on him, right? Or, like, we have the ability to keep track of them. We took some hair so that we yeah. could scry in case he made his way back to the Xanathar, because Shaka, <clears throat> Shaka was real upset and not real sure what to do about it. You know, it, it, was it a good didn't threat. feel like a resolution for Shaka and the Xanathar, as he no. has hoped. And there was no other sign of the Xanathar, Mm -hmm. like, as far as we could tell. Mm -hmm. Our eyes were, our eyes were completely overtaken by loot! Loot! Because, uh, because then after we talked to this guy, we went up and uh, eventually came. I hate you. (laughs) (laughs) And saw all the gold, (laughs) I love you. And uh, found all kinds of fun stuff, which I'm sure we'll get lots of uh use use out of yes yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> were we were we using the like were we using the rumor houses by like like winnebago's like were we just like <laughs> <laughs> so imagine. so par- partially because uh i did i did mention that you you did receive bags of holding are very easy to make um and the scouts use them so they had a couple that they let you kind of like shove stuff into so <laughs> Uh, you're, <laughs> you you won't be plane shifting back with like six Remorazes because that's going to be really weird. Right, Aww. right. Coming back to Waterdeep with a big old reward in Waterdeep. It could have been a new. It could have been a new taste sensation for Waterdeep. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> meat that heats itself. Come on, yeah, it's self heating meat. Self heating meat. Oh God. <laughs> But yes, uh, you uh, the the rivals recovered after their <laughs> dragon fight. God, um, reconvened together as a whole cohesive group, uh, looted some stuff, and then that's kind of where we we left everybody, with the exception of you know one little one little golden boy who uh-huh. decided to go to go on a little adventure and. That's probably fine, right? Right, sure. You know, dragons. Um, but yeah, we begin again with a uh, you all kind of. I don't know. I imagine that the 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 place where we are all staying is, you know, a wash with, you know, various things that you have pulled out of this horde and like are kind of examining and stuff so yeah once once you get back to the place where you all are staying what do you do uh in in the caldera yeah in 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 the caldera uh Scalise is actually going to go shopping and she wants to take kent with her oh oh all right uh, Kent will wear about 14 different outfits during this shopping trip, just so you know, because uh, I am playing with my glamoured armor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shows time synergy. Dang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yes, happily. You think I'm not going to go shopping? Please, let's go. Well, that way, if Virgil doesn't want to go, he cannot go unless Virgil wants to go shopping. Uh, no, Virgil's going <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> have you ever have you ever been shopping with Kent? She's about to. Don't tell her. Godspeed. Well, I asked well. for it. <laughs> if you what want are to we be shopping sh- for, uh, Celise wants to really upgrade her armor and also, um, you know, get something nice for Fenris. 
like a nice collar, some Aww. toys. I like this. I like Me this too. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so um, having been here for a couple days at this point, um, mm -hmm. the market is really more of a, a bazaar type thing, like a bazaar, not a bizarre, um, a type thing. And having sort of been shopping here in in you know previous days as far as armor they don't have what what kind of armor are you looking for Sus? uh something that's more flexible that also doesn't scream blood hunter because i didn't really get to change my armor gotcha gotcha so, <laughs> so need <laughs> You know, something that looks, um, you know, more paladin-y, but is easy to move in. Okay, okay. Um, so uh, they have, I mean, they, they, are, they are hunters and, and gatherers here, and there are a couple of metalsmiths, and um, you can find something like that, what you're look, uh, like what you're looking for. They have um, all kind of, all types of like uh, leather armors that have been you know dyed to various color colors or can be dyed to various colors. Um, they have some medium armors that are a little bit easier to move in. Will give you some protection, but won't scream. I am a holy champion of justice, um, but also won't scream. <laughs> I am. But also will not scream. Uh, I am here to take your soul. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I might be. That's a good balance. Something in the middle is yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. You, well, we just don't want to commit. Might, right. You might be, but you don't want to like let people know that right off the bat. Maybe. I don't know. for later. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> we need an outfit that has a reveal, Kent says, so that when it is time to soul steal, you are properly, I just changed clothes. Kent just changed his glamoured armor uh, into like black red lined cape, like jet black mat, <clears throat> mat uh, like uh, top and pants uh, and like a little, uh, oh, 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 the, the, oh. Oh, Kent's gonna do something that I would never do, but Kent is absolutely going to with a little insignia of tear on the breast, but it's dripping blood. See, soul sealing. Real blood? No, uh, mm. nah. sequined blood. <laughs> just forever. <laughs> just embroidered always blood. blood. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be really, that'd be an amazing spell to keep going. Right. Yeah, yeah right. Something sort I, of like this. Ooh, I like it. All right, uh, so I'm going to go look, look for a cape like this for you. Because that's right. a good reveal piece. All right. Um, Make sure I can pull my bow out. <laughs> Half cape it is. <laughs> uh, yes, <Virgil>. so... <laughs> get away with a three quarter, to be honest. That's true. Yeah, we'll have to yeah. see what they have. Or a one shoulder. Mm, mm -hmm. I like the one off. Yeah, asymmetrical is a good look. You know. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. We're just giving so, Kent ideas for his own outfit own. at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the armorers that you go to um, are severely impressed by what the the final product of what Kent has has delivered um or something similar and they says well I don't know if I can get the coloring quite right but I think I can I think we can pull that off um it may take us a while just you know to kind of get it exactly to the I can have this done in a in a I've got the pieces I can have this done in a day all right what will it cost me uh well you did kind of save us from a <laughs> giant world ending dragon uh 20 gold wow cost of, like cost of materials so 20 gold oh wow okay <laughs> this this what? better be amazing <laughs> One of my favorite things is seeing how players who play in lots of different campaigns interact with the gold economy and react to prices. Like 20 <laughs> gold. I don't know. In some campaigns, that's like the earth. And in yeah, some, right. it's like, well, oh, that's dinner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right now, that's like pocket change. Yeah, well, just... that's true yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. And yet you? still haggling. <laughs> <laughs> yet still haggling. Guys look, are getting I... proud. <laughs> look, just because we are newly wealthy doesn't mean I don't know how to haggle for a price. <laughs> 
We're new water deep. We're money. new Thank money. You. Oh, yeah, new money in a money. big way. <laughs> um, and so I even like give them twenty five as a tip, and uh, they they take oh, it and the they get up this town. You know, <laughs> and they're Sorry. overjoyed. I'm like, oh, thank, thank you, thank you so much, and they kind of like go back into it. It's part, it's part tense, part. It's not quite ramshackle, but it's you know they go back into their building and and then they they start getting to work. Oh, like, okay, bye. Wait to see it on you. Oh, I'm so excited. I was just like, but boots, gloves. Oh, something tells it. me he's got all of it ready or uh, in his in his head. All right. <laughs> um. So yeah, you're you're able to get like a, so you can get the armor from there. But if you're looking for, yeah, you can get everything from there. Uh, Kent, are you gonna buy anything? Um, actually, yes. You know what I'm gonna get are some. Um, some new, uh, some new like accessories for Virgil's locks. Just to like remember this place by, cause he's got those great beads and like blue is very much the color of the Caldera anyway. So maybe we've got some, you know, just some little, you know, not necessarily everyday wear if he doesn't want to, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll flare for the hair. Love hair color. You know what's funny? I've got one on my desk, literally, that I'm trying to find. Yes. <laughs> um, Kent, while you are off looking for someone who is, you know, someone who looks like they would sell something like that, make a perception check for me. Okay. Perception. Oh. Uh, it's it's a it's a six. A six total. Six. It's a real strong though. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not used to rolling skills that I am not proficient in, and thus doing poorly in them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, as you are walking down the kind of the bazaar, the, the the market aisles, there are a lot of people who are like looking at you, and you know, some of them like will will whisper, and some of them like as you catch their eye, they will wave, and you don't think anything of it. No, of course not. Uh, I enjoy it and, uh, you know, change my outfit to match the occasion. Excellent. Which is to say, uh, much shinier and brighter. <laughs> <laughs> but what you do find, there is um, there is an, an older woman, probably in her uh, in her mid-50s or so, who is um, standing outside of a um, outside of a, a building that's got, like, they're, like, um, God, my words have been gone all weekend. There's like a, a tray of beads. Oh. And like there, you, you see like some necklaces and um in one, like there's one like little little tray that's probably about it look it looks to be about kid height and it says build your own necklace and then like things like that. Um yeah, I mean at my first instinct is to just grab the flashiest, gaudiest, biggest, and I've got like a handful of them, and I'm like, uh. Be good, be good, and I'll I'll put them back and find uh, somewhat more sedate versions. Toss in maybe one of my flashies, uh, but just get a little okay. collection of like you know if there's anything that particularly is like either shaped like or has some sort of like an engraving that is either of the Caldera or of the Frostfell or anything like that. Just just so that it's got a little bit of like a uh, I hate to say souvenir for something I'm giving him for his hair, but like a memory aspect <laughs> to it, you know. Mm -hmm. So you do find some that are, um, they are longer, they're maybe about two, two, uh, one and a half to two inches long, and they've oh. been carved to look like icicles. Cool. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Uh, yeah. I wonder if, do any, this is a question that I just don't know that has ever come up. Do any of the rivals have any sort of talent? I mean, I know Dahani is an artist, but do any of us have any sort of talent in like uh, carving and sculpture making? Yeah. Okay. So I, I'll get the icicle ones, and I wonder if maybe I take them to Celise and see if there's a way that we could like um, 
modify them ever so slightly so that they're sort of jagged icicles that could be mistaken for lightning bolts but are still in like the ice blue of the caldera that feels like a nice like meeting of the minds for virgil sure and yeah so you you can yeah she says um i'll give you a uh i'll i'll give you uh these five for for one one gold please oh yeah absolutely and i'm I, you know i'll hand her two okay because and as we she, have to continue ruining as, the gold economy in the caldera <laughs> absolutely and as she hands them to you um uh, as they sit in the palm of your hand they actually are a little cold <gasps> cool oh these are fantastic oh i love these i hope he does <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you have found some uh some icicle shaped beads and some of them do look a little bit more like they, they do look icicly but some of them are a bit more jagged like you can tell that they are handmade oh i love that i love that okay and so we won't do anything that like hand enchanted uh oh, i love that we won't do anything that like, you know, uh, mars the beautiful handcraft work, uh, but just like, you know, little little adjustments to make them look a little lightning-y. But I, the fact that they're cold sort of makes me less concerned about them looking like lightning bolts. That's cool. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, the, is there anything else that you two want to do before I cut to the rest of the group? No, I mean, we can just assume that as we're wandering, I found stuff for Fenris. Yeah. And Fenris is absolutely like Fenris is getting a lot of attention. Like, like people are not they're they're not like running up to and petting without permission. But as he wanders the the market with you, like there are little kids who are like, look at the dog, look at the dog, and he's just Aww. like loving it, absolutely loving Aww. it. Little guy. I love <laughs> So as we leave uh, Celeste and Kent in the market, we turn to uh, in this this uh, house that's been, for lack of a better word, house that's been provided for the rivals post dragon. We cut to uh, Virgil and Gazric and Dahani and Shaka, who are Shaka has been since the return fr uh, from the Caldera and the loot grabbing. He's been a little. Uh, He's been a little stand, not standoffish or a little distant. The um, encounter with the Zanlock still kind of like ruminating in his mind and he's trying to figure out what course of action he wants to take there. So he's kind of in his room for, for the day. But uh, Gazric and, and Virgil, what are y'all doing? Um, Virgil's definitely like, you know the bracers he's kind of he's kind of fitting them he's he's kind of like we're trying to figure out like if they are going to go well with like you know with his cloak and and his other outfits so he's kind of fitting them in he's also looking to see like how he can you know like how he can kind of tuck his fan and hold on to that with these and it's working pretty well so he's he's pretty satisfied otherwise it's just you know You've may like everyone may notice like a tiny bit of effort, and Virgil is essentially, um, you know, does not like this cold weather and is essentially keeping himself warmer than even indoors usual. Like if you get near him, you may notice that there's it's suddenly warmer next to him than not next to him. So yeah, he's expending like a little bit of energy on that, but otherwise it's just um, he's probably been asking um Dahani and Shaka and and Gazric questions about what happened after after like you know he and Kent vir virtually disappeared like what happened you know I want the play-by-play -play because I don't have a book to read about Salisa's life that sort of talks about what she did so now I need to know like from the source um well we acted after we saw y'all then the people that you brought to help us, we saw them and they gave us all these cool abilities. Like everybody could fly. It was really mm -hmm. cool. Everybody could fly. And that was really cool having uh, everybody to fly around with. That was great. Um, and you, you, you kind of see also when, when Dahani starts to talk about this, she gets a little bit more animated. Like despite the fact that she almost died, she had a lot of fun fighting. Like she, she had been talking the whole time about punching a dragon in the nose. She got to do that. She was satisfied despite what happened to her. 
And so she's just kind of giving a brief, but not entirely informative play-by-play of what happened. And uh, Gazrik uh, stopped me from dying a whole bunch. It was great. That happens. Gazrik's in her corner, just sort of like sifting through some of the scales that he, some, a few of them that he was able to get from the dragon, just sort of like weighing them uh, while like this conversation's happening. Oh, also, um, don't don't tell Shaka this, but he's going to mention the carnival about how he won a bunch of games. He didn't win a single game, but he needs to think that just just indulge him. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Vir- Virgil Virgil notices the scales that um, that Gosrick is going over, and is like, "Those aren't. We're not going to turn those into more dragons, are we?" No, no, no. I don't even know how that's possible, really. I, uh, this is this is only for materials. I was thinking perhaps some of the folks in the mines, if they had pickaxes with, uh, you know, the edges encrusted with some diamond scale, they could get their work done more efficiently. Um, perhaps if there were some real material goods, this would make lives easier. Um, ah. Yeah. Oh. So, um, Gazrik, what you... So what you have more so than individual scales uh-huh. is like several sheets mm. of dragon skin. Right. Yeah. I, so, and I, I think he is only able to get like one or two off, like the rest of it's like, and just like trying to weigh. Cause I met, yeah. I would imagine like that, like that's the huge resource and this is like a pebble compared to it. Right. Yeah. Cause yeah. this, the the and uh, the interesting about this dragon is that as you were working with the scouts to you know carve and you know you know basically kind of set it up is that there are scales of all different sizes on this mm. dragon like you could see some of them were bigger than you and while others you had like smaller um you know smaller sections of like you know maybe uh you know real world quarter size and you know kind of like you know varying patterns and you have a couple of you have a couple of different colors actually while you have primarily a couple of you have primarily two or three like sheets of white dragon scale you've also got some that kind of are white and morph into like a pink or a red like Mm -hmm. or you know from white to silvery blue to you know to kind of represent the the scale <laughs> of this dragon. Yeah, heck yeah. I think I'm playing with one that I met. Like, Gazer's like, you know, it's wild. This thing was probably on its knuckle and it's the size of my entire fit. Like, this would have covered maybe a portion of its knuckle. It's wild. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about using some of this for some magical components for my own research, but the, uh, we'll see what fruition comes of that on its own. But more so for this stuff, I really think it could do a lot of good. You know, there's a lot of access. Hey, you know, uh, I've been meaning to ask this, Virgil. You and I don't really talk about this that much. You ever think it's weird that we both wear blue? No. No, I don't know. I just think about it. I mean, I like like blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we do it differently, for sure. We totally do it differently. I get it. But I was just like, man, we, we are the only two dudes who, like, are monochrome in this whole group. Well, no, actually, that's not true. Shaka's all Virgil white. Kind of, you know, Virgil kind of looks down at his outfit, which is absolutely not monochrome, but, you know, the blue the blue traveling coat is it's like, I I mean, I guess we could say, should not have looked at the Zoom chat. <clears throat> I guess we could say that. Um, but no, I mean, it, it just seemed, honestly, it was, it, it, it just sort of happened um, on, on my travels that blue, oh, I, I like blue, it looks good on me. What's... It's a good color. No, 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 no. I, I, yeah. Please join the club. I'm all, all about it. But I, for me, it's always been the color of my source, right? Like the power that I draw from. It's it's easy to call upon the cold. If I forget, I just look at what I'm wearing. I recall the feeling of it. Mm. I, I, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. No. Yeah. No, I mean, Kent is, Kent is always <clears throat> trying to get me to wear other things mm. so i i always gravitate to this it's it's comfy mm. honestly it's it's yeah. about comfort um, oh 
function over form every if you can get both at the same time it's the goal right right i'm, I'm already feeling like like how it i might i i like virgil kind of stops like i should have asked kent to get me a bigger coat when no no that would have no that would have cost him no 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 never mind um um, it's fine. I mean, when we get back to Waterdeep, we're we're gonna have so much money to spend. Not that we should flood the economy, of course, but you know. And when are we? And again, you see Virgil's face kind of like kind of drift off and thought, like, are we going? Are you going back? Are you staying? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're good, man. They don't need me. Look at this. Everything's fine now. Like I came in superhero, and now I leave. I left last time a disgrace and 150 years later, I'm a hero. Imagine what's going to come back if I leave a hero and I come back 150 years from now, what people are going to say about me. I can't really argue with that. Are you keen to return in 150 years? Maybe. I like this idea of being a myth for this for these folks. You know what I mean? Like, like just sort of letting them build these rumors. It's sort of like come in, sort of scoot out. It's fun. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I, mm, you know, and. What about you? When was the last time you went back home? That kind of actually takes him out of himself for half a second. And he just says it's been years and it's been years and uh i uh i don't really think i'm going to go back i know this was when you were um this was when you weren't with us but our past sort of came came calling and it wasn't pleasant and i'm i i don't believe i'll be going home anytime soon it's nowhere that i really want to go back to so it's kind of nice to see that you your homecoming has gone well for you. I do, truly would not have expected it. I was very surprised by it. I don't know. And oddly, I'm ready to leave now. And not in the way that before I was escaping to get out of here. It's more or less like, I'm good. I can leave as I choose. It, it, it's oddly freeing. Hmm. No, it's it's nice to have a it's nice to have a home. I I it, putting down roots is something that has not been an option for quite some time. So mm -hmm. it's nice to it's nice to have that feeling again of a place to return to and a yeah. place to call home. Absolutely, getting back to the manor, and you all said it's sixty three percent working condition right now. I'm sure Brian and Duo have managed to clean more okay. while we were you know what let's just stick with that uh let's stick with 60 <laughs> it's, honestly it's let's stick with the, that mid 60s is probably pretty good yeah that's it's a good truly estimate. that's great man i'm i'm very happy to hear it because i think getting back to it we'll get to the books i think we could do a lot of good with our money in the area and i i, I don't know what the, everyone else is going to get up with there and i don't want to influence folks but I don't know. I've been thinking a little bit. If you want, I, if you want to hear my pitch sometime, we could scrap some coffee and talk about it. You just got this money. You already know what you're going to do with it. I have some ideas. Yes. Uh, look, these dragon scales already are going to be. I got them. Not even. I cost me our lives don't, and Tahani's effort. Like we, we, we all earn these. Having don't these, you it, already yeah. handle the money. Brian's more in charge of the books now because he I trust him more than duo. Okay. And just this little wheel turning, like all of a sudden you have new money and you already have ideas like well, as long as we're okay. Yeah, that's you know, maybe, maybe one day I'll 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 happily sit down and, and uh we can talk because Waterdeep is still fairly new to, to us. Um I I I assume money goes well there as it would anywhere else so sure really Sounds i love great this is going to be great 
a wonderful idea. It's uh, also uh, separately. Have you ever heard the term thunder snow? Is this something that you ever want to practice? Like Gazer starts rambling on another tangent. It's like this is as he's like working on like things. Uh, and like he's going to keep going like, yeah, it's this idea. I was like, next time we're in a fight, it might be useful to like combine spell. And he's going to keep going unless you like stop him. Um, <laughs> do you really want to engage Virgil in a meteorological discussion about magic? Because I think that's, Gazer what the two would... of them, that's what the two of them will basically fade out doing. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, he's just like doing some like the task of like weighing all of these, like the portions that he can get off for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it is it is about this time, actually, maybe, maybe 15 minutes into this discussion where you all, you two specifically, Ari, it's not, it's it's heated, but it's not angry. Um, as uh, Solis and Kent come back to the house um, and they're talking about thunder snow. The, 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 the structure of it alone is seems implausible. Well, but see, the conditions are really difficult because if you're doing, if you're but basically the shaping the firmament here, we could make no, the pressure system. We could that, make it Raising happen. it here and we lowering it there is not really, that's a lot of power. We should just go. You know, oh, uh, we could definitely find a you know what? I, yeah. I, I need a bow that does things. We should. Yep, just look like all kinds <laughs> no, no, of no, things. No, 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 settle an argument <laughs> for it. Oh, wow, scarier oh, words have Kent, never I been spoken. I owe you a drink. I owe you a drink. We should go find. You know what? That's the one thing we didn't get. We didn't get liquor to take home as a gift, as a reminder. <laughs> that, that, We're I just going to. ice whiskey. All right, all right, all right. Ice What's wine's amazing. Uh-huh. We're, uh, no, we're, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, no, 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 no. We can talk about this back at home. This is a conversation uh, that we can definitely keep con- continuing on. How was I your shopping think- trip? It seems like it was fruitful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, everything I bought will be dyed to spec tomorrow. Oh, and nice. it was amazing. Oh, nice. It's going to be great. I won't ruin the surprise by showing you now, but it's going to be great. Um, we show off Fenris oh. and the new, yes, the new Look accoutrement. Yeah, so uh, what is his new what does what do his new accessories look like? Um Fenris has a a black and silver collar that's studded, but if he barks, the there will be spikes that pop out in case anyone tries to pet him. <laughs> so basically he has his own self-defense mechanism. <laughs> Love that. Voice activated, incredible. Only um, but, but only mm-hmm. I was gonna say it's slightly enchanted so that his when he when he brings out his three his extra two illusion heads, it's on all of them, I assume. Yes. Oh yes. You know, I held them up until he barked and picked one. And he liked that one. <laughs> he yes. liked that one. Um yes. and he's got his own little like it's hard to describe because he's a he's a dire wolf, but he's got like his own kind of like side saddle bag that he also picked out. So like anything, any of his things that he needs and a little and like extra stuff to carry for me he's got. But again, this is all of his own free will. He is not like an enslaved doggo. Um, I'm really gonna wonder based based on what y'all got up to in the market, why you were able to find a vendor that suddenly seems to have leather studded collars that do things when a certain amount of sound is activated in their presence. That but it looks really good on Fenris. Me. It looks really good on Fenris. That also reminds me, Gosric, uh, mm. the person who made this, just like wanted to let you know that they can do a thorn version. So I, I, I don't, I get it. It's good for the economy, but I don't know how it's related to me. I really, it's. <laughs> I, I didn't either. Uh, she just wanted oh, to make on, sure. Oh, hold on, reaches behind her back and is like, I no, got no. your present. Oh no. <laughs> your back was turned for five minutes. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's in it? What's in it? (laughs) Oh, I open it. I open the box. (laughs) It's just a thorn. It's just a single thorn. No, I don't know what it is. Actually, it's it's a, this is a IRL braces. It's a leather strap like this, but it's green. And there's a couple thorns on it. And I'm like, (laughs) just press the thorns. Press one. And a whole row of them go around yes. the whole thing. Yes. Oh, yes very yes. cool. Okay. I think uh, you know this will actually be useful. And like I um like let me try something. 
um, and I like cast Thorn Whip with it at the end and see if I can like wrap as like an additional like security. And that's like, okay. Oh, it's got a little more hold. Ha! And he's like on the wall now. It's like, all right, this is gonna be great. This is great. I'm, I'm, oh. That's not the intended purpose, but enjoy. I'm gonna repel so many walls. It's gonna be incredible. <laughs> all right, I'm working. I'm gonna work out the specifics of exactly what that is. Incredible. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, yeah, you're never I'm... gonna let that go. I will. Now that no. I have been cast Revivify on, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I will just catch Virgil's eye and sort of like make eyes at like a small bag that I have, but I, uh, I'm i not gonna present them to him here because uh, as confident as Kent genuine, generally is, um, there's a little bit of nervousness about whether Virgil will like them and also don't want to put him on the spot in front of <laughs> the others in case he does not. I mean, I'm just uh, gonna yeah. lean over, be like, hey, mm. hey, mm. he'll like him. I mean, I do, I just, you know. Um. Yeah, and Virgil takes the you know takes the bag and 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 does notice that it is a little um, it has like a little tinge of chill to it, but just puts it in, in one of his pockets and and makes eye contact back at yeah. at Ken like it's the subtlest you've ever seen either of us be together. <laughs> Damn, we got to work on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, at this point, you hear uh, the, while the, the the door is kind of open because this whole thing just kind of happened spur of the moment as everybody walked in but there is a knock on the door it's just a brief see who it is mm-hmm. and you turn around to see Danella. oh your chilliness uh, hello and welcome not your chilliness she's an arctic druid isn't she i'm being respectful as long as it's about the the weather and not my personality. I didn't. Oh, think never! No, you, oh my goodness! No, I'm so sorry. You've no, you've been so. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no. We've been here one um, day. One day. It's a nice thing to do. I was coming to invite you all to a dinner. Oh, that we're oh. having for you. Thank you. That sounds great. Do you need? me to cook or you have a cook no we have a cook oh okay a little less fun for me but okay yeah i don't have to sit down and be a guest (laughs) it's so let it's so passive that way you have to talk to people in the kitchen you just is the dinner tonight yes (laughs) great terrific what what time (laughs) how should we dress (laughs) um dress as your your normal selves, uh, the dinner will be at sundown. It's about, there are no clocks, but it's about to. <laughs> this evening, you know. Yeah. You know, well, dinner. thank you ever so much. Very kind, thank you, yes. Mm-hmm. No, it, thank, thank you, really, can, we, yes? Can we bring anything, you know, a, 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 a libation or a, a dessert perhaps? No, oh, no, just bring yourselves. Oh, it's probably safer. <laughs> uh, no, um, uh, 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 everything is being prepared by our our cooks and our uh, uh, craftspeople are, are, it's going to be wonderful. Thank you, thank you for everything that you've done for us here. And uh, it's very, very appreciated. I. You, I mean, you saved my life and the lives of so many of my friends and uh, you didn't have to, she kind of like gestures out the door to the general direction of where the mountain is and you didn't have to do any of that. And it was just, we're, we're very grateful. I'm looking at Gosrig. Uh, a, I was not there, and B, it feels perhaps. <laughs> uh, I think Gosrig's just it, it, it truly was no obligation. Of course, of course, of course, we we would have helped. 
she her her face is is relaxed yet um there is a sort of a furrowed her brow is furrowed just a bit as if she's like nervous to be saying this like you know oh she's like she's speaking to people who she's barely known a week with the exception of Gosrick and she saw you two you know open the portal because she mm-hmm. was there mm-hmm. um but like you know she's never this is huge <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 um and so when Gosrick says that her brow kind of uh relaxes and she kind of allows herself to smile and um you especially Gosrick the are very happy to have you back and even for this short time and we're proud of you. Thank you, Donella. I appreciate that. Um, Can I ask you something? After I leave, Mm -hmm. can you make sure never to construct a statue of me? I want people to have no idea what I look like. So as the myth grows, it grows wilder and wilder. No, like, please, I, I really like no statues if possible. I really want, if I can make that request, that would be the only thing. She gives this kind of long suffering sigh and she's like, well, now I have to cancel the stone cutters. And it's to- tradition. I knew it was going to happen. I know how we do I'm with people uh, who are heroes around here. You build you. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. I would have assumed but that's fine. Oh, I, Donella oh, jokes. I like her. That's good. That's good. It's nice. She, she actually, so roll me, uh, every, everybody, if they want to, can roll me an inside check. Mm-hmm. So 19. 23. 23. 18. 18. So yeah. You all notice that when Gazrik is asking this question, she's trying very hard not to laugh. Um, and Gazrik, even though you see this, you you think it it could be a well, maybe this is a, a you know, she's happy about asking about you asking for for not a statue but she starts like she starts laughing after she 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 makes that joke and she's like this is one request that i would be more than happy to grant Mm. and you can tell that it's coming from a place of seriousness but also she kind of likes that idea (laughs) yeah no statues Terrific. Uh, uh, we will be there at dinner then in the meantime. And uh, please, if you need me to cook, I do not hesitate to ask. We don't need you to cook. You keep saying it and I keep hearing you need me to cook, but I won't. I won't. Uh, over. Need you to... OK, OK, it's fine. Need you to cook. OK. Thank you all. Uh, we will see you this evening. Looking forward to it. Bye. That sounds wonderful excited she she nods and she turns and leaves and she closes the door in her wake well how exciting now i'm curious <sighs> will we get to taste the original ice spider soup recipe at this dinner it, yeah, I, let me tell you what my friend the the customs here have changed so long since i was oh, around uh it, it's it's not popular right now i, I, I don't know. it's not in fashion it's it's you know it's i get it it's it's some people prefer it. Some people don't. Um... Uh, Kent okay. Cat and Virgil, make insight checks for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, Salise so, is oh, making one too. <laughs> so Salise I don't think Salise needs to. I think twenty-five. Uh, nineteen. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I rolled well for me. I got a seventeen. You still well, crushed it. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I see. Yeah. I see. Mm-hmm. Sixteen. So, at least you know this because Donella told everybody that <laughs> it was a joke. Um, Gos, uh, Kent and Virgil, Gosrick hides it well, mm. but you, there is something else under those words that is, he's not being quite truthful, but he's messing uh-huh. it well. Uh-huh. Oh. 
tastes do change and things go dishes go in and out of right. style so yeah it did absolutely although i do do everything here is not cold is it, it they, they oh. do heat food yeah right? of course of course you are look they have would you like some tea we have the ability to boil water. There's ice, also, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. You could also have iced tea, also. Yes. And I yes, it's the best. I, yes. it's like you're here, yeah. you should drink the iced tea. But no, right, we yeah, course, it does seem. Right. There's options. There's, of course, there's options. Then I, I'm sure it will be fine and yeah, delicious. Really good Absolutely. food. Oh, man. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to go wash up, probably get settled. Uh, I think yeah, that's what got, I do. Yeah. You, you've got a couple hours. Dahani goes upstairs to inform Shaka that dinner is being had. And despite his mood, he is, uh, <laughs> he is, is uh, he is excited to have dinner. Hell yeah. He will, he will join. Um, so is there anything else that y'all want to do before, or can we just, you know, as I do smash cut to the dinner. Smash cut. Take us away. Um, so sundown uh, arrives, and um, you hear the sound of a a bell going out across the caldera, and you start to hear the sound of movement outside, and people are you know congregating and and all of that, and um, you all make your way to um, in. It, where the the barracks are, where the scouts usually are, that's kind of the only place that's big enough to host a dinner of this magnitude. Um, you all have donned your best clothing, um, your, you know, fanciest gear. Kent has cycled through probably 47 different outfits before. Low estimate. In the last 10 minutes. Yeah, that's a low estimate. <laughs> Yeah. Every step is a new outfit. Right. Funk, funk, funk. <laughs> um, and uh, everybody make a perception check for me. Are they bad at these? It's a four. <laughs> it's that one. It's that one. It. Oh my natural, God. Uh, natural 20, 27. Oh, thank nice. God. Angel. 18. 18. Okay. 18. Yeah. Roll for Dahani as well. I'm so glad that someone beside. It was a group. It was a group perception. We all rolled. <laughs> so everybody, uh, everybody except for uh, Gazric and Kent, hmm. notice that as you all are walking towards the barracks, the people who are walking with you are like they're they're not they're parting for you, but it's not in a wide berth sort of way. You as you get closer, you realize that they are creating a sort of processional like as you pass they are walking in behind you you know like basically they're they're it's it's getting so that you are going to be the one of the first people to enter the the barracks mm. is Gosrick, is this n normal i you know, What's, you mentioned the statue. Is, mm -hmm. I mean, what is normal hero treatment here? I'm sorry, what? Kent and I were just talking about some of the archaeological finds. What, what, what are you, what are you mentioning? Well, it just it it just seems like we're like I mean, it, it seems like you did a lot of things, but this is very. I mean, how have you been treated since before? The, the dragon incident versus after because this seems like it's a different feeling well well i mean honestly it's probably been the same i mean the most ways i think people are a little more grateful now in some way oh my god there's so many people around us how did that happen when did that when did that occur when when did, did that happen that's what you, okay what uh, that's do you mean? there's nobody holy where did they come from right right uh hello no i don't know I, what that is um Gosford, this is a weird question yeah did you prepare a speech no and i don't think i'll do really well if they put me on the spot you know but what? i'll probably, do it it's, it's, i'll it's do it you know it's probably fine it's probably okay fine. okay it's, it's, i'm sure it's fine okay 
Uh, okay, now I'm nervous. Okay, uh, where's my painting kit? Uh, nope, okay, left it at home. That's fine. I was gonna make myself half an inch taller. It doesn't matter. Um, so you, uh, you all make it to the, the, the hall. And as you, <laughs> as you all make it to the entrance, the doors are, the, the doors are opened for you by a couple of scouts who are standing there waiting. And on the inside, it is very warm, very bright. Um, uh, the, the hall has been magically lit. There are fires going in on every, every, side of the room except for the door the door side there's big fireplaces and things like that um in the on the far end of the hall it's not a very big hall but on the far end of the hall there's a long table um where Donella Hirathok um and surprisingly uh who you haven't seen since the uh since they were rescued Travik and Orla who are there um uh to to greet you all as you come in and as you all make it in the rest of the people begin to file in and kind of sit in various other there are some tables of all shapes and sizes have been arranged here um and what you also see on the far table is just a, a spread a spread like all kinds of um like meats and veggies and soups and stews uh, have been prepared, and as you all enter, um, Donella says, as everybody is filing in, and you, she beckons you to the to the front table. Do you do anything before you walk in? Oh, try not to trip over my own feet. Make me a dexterity check. No, I shouldn't have said it. I really shouldn't have said it. I really like. I was like, it's not one. What? It's an at one. Did a deck save and I got an at one. It's those chunky well, I, heels. We told you not well, to I, wear them. I, I said I said a dex check. A dex save. check. So, well, okay, so well, you was... can you can roll that again. Oh, it's a fifteen. Thank goodness. Okay. So God. yeah, the 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 sight of everything momentarily catches you off guard and somebody bumps into you from behind, but you don't trip and you you manage to save yourself as yeah. you kind of walk up. Okay. And as you all make it to the, the front table, the front table, um, and everybody is filing in, you, uh, Donella says, um, we invite you all to this celebratory dinner in honor of these brave adventurers who in our time of need saved us from a fate worse than death. Um, we druids with our connection to nature, the inability to call upon those forces to aid us is the worst kind of feeling um, in the midst of not only these trials, but the wake of potential dragon destruction. Uh, we are sincerely grateful to the rivals um, for their aid and the continued life of the caldera. And there's smatterings of polite applause. And even here I thought he's giving a golf clap, but he's like, he's not smiling about it. Um, uh, we would also like to thank them for this generous bounty. Um, don't think we've ever had dragon before. Uh, dig in everyone. And. Oh, immense, Im immediately. The Gazric's uh, oh, yeah. face first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The minute he heard her dragon, like the he didn't drop the fork, but it the, it's a little more tentative now. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got a nudge, Virgil. What's wrong? It just it it feels so weird to eat when we've got one back at home. It's not the one we have at home. You've got dragon here. Uh, did you just flip? Never mind. <clears throat> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
he, eat up Virgil. Virgil politely, yeah, he politely, <laughs> yeah. politely moves it around the plate and and does you know does does appreciatively, um, yeah. Um, it's it. Oh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sleep. No, I was just going to lean and go, you could just say you're allergic and you just discovered it that way you could spit it out and no one would be offended. Or you're a vegetarian. <laughs> That's also fine. Thank like, you. People thank, get thank it, you. man. Thank you, save fails. That was very subtle. Um, <laughs> and here you go. Uh, Kent is very contentedly, like daintily just eating little bites, smiling ear to ear that he is not the one causing a scene today. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the the entire meal is more or less spread across the table. So there is a main course of like dragon haunch. It's a little gamey, but it you know it's like probably like eating venison or something i don't know i've never i've never had dragon have you it's like chicken oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like chicken like yeah. it's gamey else. chicken yeah, yeah. <laughs> um there's um there's like a pine nut stew um they're like local the local flora and fauna have all been kind of uh you know made into kind of like dishes of the of the realm and um it's it's delicious it's, it's delicious and and um at some point during during the the feast uh Travik and Orla like they're sitting at the same table with you but they kind of they just walk around like together holding hands and being adorable lovey-dovey and they just Aww. um thank you for for Travik thanks you for taking a chance and believing in in what in you know in him and and Orla thanks you for saving her life and believing in Travic and uh all that all that sentimental wonderfulness and mm. uh so at least they have also brought out a uh, bowl of 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 chow for Fenris like it's I just it's, <laughs> since uh Virgil's being delicate about eating the dragon I just take some and feed it to Fenris Oh, Fenris is is happy to have food in any form, but he does have like like next to your seat there is a um like one of those bowls that's like that's actually like on a stand like you know for those dogs who have difficulty eating or if you're if you really really love your pet, mm -hmm. um but it's full of like you know dragon chow and and stuff like that. <laughs> Can I just give him pets and I'm like, are you enjoying? And he goes, I've, and immediately goes like face down into it again. Um, the meal continues, just kind of people get up and, um, and, and they come up to the table and they thank you and they go back to sit down. It's, it's a weird sort of wedding where nobody is clinking glasses and everybody is just like occasionally thanking you. Um, but at the end of the feast, when everybody is kind of like settled and, and uh, Donella stands and, well, Donella, she, she doesn't stand. Um, the feast is really informal. There's no like, and now dessert and now blah, blah, blah. But Donella says to you all, um, she kind of gets up and stands in the center of you all. And she says, um, we obviously don't expect that you will stay whenever you are ready to leave we are i am prepared to get you home thank you that's that's very kind of you um i think so at least you mentioned you have some work getting done by tomorrow right and some of, so i think maybe tomorrow might be when we take you up on that afterwards right of course whenever you're ready but for the meantime, we'll just enjoy the eat. This feast is, uh, it is delicious. It is good. Yes, th thank you. I mean, again, you provided the, the bounty. We mm. will, <laughs> we will uh, if you'd like, we can send you home with some. Oh, or... no, 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 no. I, well, 
Yeah, yeah. Actually, do you have any? I might make some jerky out of this. This stuff might last for a while if you have any part that's. Or do you cook? Do you cook the whole dragon? As like Gazrix looking at. No, yeah. no, <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. Um, the dragon was uh gigantic. Right. Right. Um, you 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 get the sense that they began to dig into. They they began to collect dragon that very first scouting day to have stuff to to prepare for this feast like they it, they've been obviously preparing for this feast for a couple of days really yeah uh, yeah then i'll def- if you got some spare uh you know like underbelly or whatever you'd not need um i'll uh, i'll i'll love to figure it put some at the stall oh i've always wanted to have jerky at the stall this is these are dreams happening this is great we'll put together a care package perfect um uh, and also uh is there anything that you all might need from Waterdeep, perchance, or from the rivals in the future? I, the communication might not need to have to go so long if another emergency or aid or something might arise. Uh, it's very forward thinking of you. Uh, we will get in. Yes, the, the long and short of it is that if we need you for anything, we will be in contact. I will, once you tell me where you're going, I will be able to, and you know how to get. Oh, yeah. She she appears, it looks like she hasn't thought about that. Mm-hmm. And so her normally carefully prepared words are, she doesn't have them. Mm-hmm. So uh, essentially, yes, uh, that would be uh, wonderful. and. Despite your desire for anonymous notoriety, mm-hmm. you don't have to be a stranger. Oh, see, but here's the thing, Donella. If I get anonymous notoriety, I get to be a stranger, except to you and maybe to pranks that I get to pull on Hirothak in the future. It'll be, it'll be totally worth it. didn't hear that at all yes <laughs> it's gonna be great this guy's gonna step into so much geese poop he has no idea uh well she gives you another one of those like soft laughs <laughs> and um she reaches into her pocket and she <laughs> pulls out a little charm and you would know this anywhere it is a miniature ice spider leg she hands it to you. Oh, thank you. This is this is beautiful. Yes. Um, it's not quite recompense for the jokes that we played on you when you were here, but it's a little reminder. And Hens she is now she paying just... very close attention and wants to know what these tricks are at some point, just for the record. <laughs> because Kent and Virgil do not yet know that ice spider soup is a scam. <laughs> she puts her hand on your shoulder and she says, like, and she, she squeezes your shoulder. She says, we really are proud of you. Thank you. And then, uh, I mean, look at you, Arch Druid now. Wow, uh, you know, we've all done, we've all done impressive things. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm going to her seat is like three seats away from you all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go enjoy, go enjoy. Uh, we'll, we'll see you before. Uh, we'll obviously see you before our way out. Of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and unless there is anything else you all would like to do this evening, we can go. We can smash cut to tomorrow. <laughs> um, the night ends as as all good nights do, and it's been a while since the rivals have had a good night. Mm. Um, you all are full, you are content. Um, it is warm and cozy and, you know, you go back to your house and you, you get a fire lit and Virgil, it's nice. It's not as cold. Um, the next morning, um, you are interrupted, your morning meal is interrupted by a knock on the door. Another knock on the door. Yeah. I realize you guys have gotten so popular. Who is it's it? odd. I mean, think really, it's not like this. Usually, it's ever since y'all got here. Oh, well. 
Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Gazer goes up, opens the door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're all just as Celise, like, is someone gonna get it? <laughs> right. <laughs> Celise and Gazer get there at the same time. Um, so <laughs> it's 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 the Scooby Doo moment where Celise's head is first and then Gazer's head is down here. Yeah. Um but... is actually in between us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, someone draw that. That is so perfect. <laughs> Um, but it is the armorer from the day before who is oh. carrying um, in the, I guess, in the equivalent of a clothing bag. It's yeah. kind of heavy and he's carrying it in both arms this way and not this way. Uh, your armor, your whole yeah. delivery and everything. Yeah, like oh. I said, I, I had I had most of the pieces and it was really just a matter of of dying and, and we don't have to, we're you know, he he, he okay? does like, oh, I'm I'm fine. Do I? Like he's yeah. he's holding it like this, and he's Bad trying to person. gesture with it, and you know, the dying isn't so much of an actual like dying process because we are druids, a lot of us, and can magic it. It's didn't take very long at all. Um, I take it, <laughs> and uh, Felicia thought she's going to go change and come home all fancy like. All right. Yeah. Well. So Lisa's changing. I want to talk to the armorer if he's still here for a moment. Because I, hey, hey, can you come inside? Um, I, I know I never got your name, perchance. Does uh, he have? It's, I, it's, I didn't mean to do this, but I, I, I Gazer cast into this guy's name for this question. I know. It's <laughs> it's, uh, it's I know. right. I know. I, I didn't. Mean a, I had a name for somebody else. It's 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 Verger. <laughs> Say what? Verger. Verger. Hey, Verger. I I have a question. You work a lot more with meat resources. I. I want to take some of these scales here from the skin and make some dragon like shields. I want to make like a dragon slayer shield. And like how, what, it, what would be the, the like, and I, like, I want to talk to them about it. Like I see what I can learn about doing a little bit of like crafting on my own to start building these. Okay, uh, make an interesting. Okay. So you can either make a nature check or an arcana check. Oh, I'm totally uh, nature. That's uh, it's a plus three versus a plus nine. We gotta roll. <laughs> oh, with a nineteen on the die, it's a twenty-eight. Very nice. Ones um, get out of here. <laughs> so, uh, as it, it's gonna, it, it's. Mm, I don't know what kind of armor it is yet for you, Celise. But as it the time it takes Celise to change, you all, you 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 two sit down, and yeah. and Virgo says it's more of a so dragon dragon scale crafting is um uh, there are only a couple there are only a handful of people, and I say a handful, you know, it's a very specific sort of craft. Sure. So um, while I don't disagree that you could you could definitely learn how to do it but there is you might be better off finding somebody like I don't know where you 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 live in a big old city you might just definitely got to be somebody there who knows how to do it but Burger, and then he I, kind of yeah goes into the intricacies of you know what that would take like you know the kind of like tempering you would have to do for the for the scale if there's any metal involved if you want to you know kind of do that whole thing but you get a a good idea of a place to start once you get back to Waterdeep. Burger, this is super helpful. I thought it was theoretically possible, and now I know it is plausible. That is that is incredible. Thank you. I really, really value that. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Mm -hmm. And it's about that time that your conversation wraps up that Celise comes back downstairs in her new digs. Well, since I entrusted Kent with the fashion here, um it's it was it actually is similar to what he kind of like tw turned and revealed except with a three-quarter cape so that i could easily yeah. grab my bow nice. yeah. but it's it's nice and brocade so it's it's warm but it's it's lined with silk so that you know in warmer weather i'm not going to be sweltering or i could just take it off mm -hmm. and it's leather pants with boots up to the knees and buckles and of course a quiver. So it's almost like she's got like an X harness on her back. So her sword mm. on this side, the bow kind of making the other side of it. And a, a tunic, but it's it's not like rough, 
fabric or anything. It's it's a little bit form fitting so that her arms aren't encumbered whether she's fighting or drawing her bow. And then the other thing in the bag is a leather coat like the one she was wearing, but it's it's got like forest green edging like on the sleeves and toward the bottom to show her new ranger abilities. Mm. It looks very um it looks very natural um the like it's impressive how he was able to get all this stuff done without actually like taking your measurements or anything this man is a, a marvel clearly very great work like really this, this is fine craftsmanship thank you um i've got a really good eye for you know just getting the measure of 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 somebody and just and I had a, I mean, Kent, is that, that your name? Yes. He basically showed me what it was I had to create, oh. so. I am getting a lot of, my, it's only been a few days and I'm already getting so much mileage. He's never leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Kent's the one who actually moves to, uh, to the caldera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's uh, like, I can live here forever. They love me here. Um, but yeah, if you're ever back here in the caldera, there's anything that I can do for you, just just let me know. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've been great. Super helpful. And he actually like walks out of the door backwards and mm -hmm. like closes the door. Okay. So I'm going to remind me that when I get these dragon like shields, dragon slayer shields together once i'm able to consistently make them i've got to set the cut to the proceeds to verger because that, that, that the knowledge is indispensable uh, anything just else should mm -hmm. we find danella i think so dahani you're good yeah she's here oh <laughs> is is uh shaka with us or awesome. is he just still quietly brooding He's not, he's, he's here. Um, he's just not talkative. Sure. Understandable. Right. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's go uh, home. Let's go home. It's about time. All right. So you make your way to the uh, sort of central building where, you know, um, here and, and when she is here, Donella uh, reside and do their work and uh, you are let in. Um, you actually see Travic working the door as a person who works the door and not as a, uh, not as a, I am spying <laughs> kind of way. Huh? Um, but you are led into the office where Donella and Hirathak are, uh, they're, they, look, they sound like they're conversing about business. You know, Hirathak goes, oh, business, business, business. And Donella goes, well, business, <laughs> business, you know. Yes. And um, uh, as they see you come in, they, you know, business talk stops. Um, and they say, well, and Donella says, good morning. Are you, are you ready? I think so. so. Excellent. Um, well, we need a little bit of space. If we could just go outside. Oh, sure. Um, oh, yes. And yes. you. <laughs> you all kind of just kind of head outside, like right outside the door. And um, let me try to remember how plane shift works. That's not how you spell plane. Mm -hmm. D&D Beyond, everybody. <laughs> it's a plane shift. It's not, it's like an average shift. It's not like, yeah, you know, it's a run of the mill shift. It's, pretty, pretty, yeah, you know. it's not a wild shift. No way. No way. <laughs> plane. Yeah. Uh, cool. So, um, she says that, uh, I, I, for this instance, I will, uh, the way plane shift works, I have to come with you, but, uh, I can just come back. One small thing that I don't know about. Never mind. Well, now I kind of want to know what it was. Oh, I do well, I'll tell you in the next stage chat then, and we can carry on with the plane shift. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, 
hold on. I'm gonna retcon. I'm gonna I'm gonna retcon a little a little thing. She says, um, uh, generally, um, the plane shift spell one has to sort of go with you mm -hmm. to uh, work the spell. But while working with the dragon to do that, we were able to kind of twist it a little bit. So I don't actually have to go with you. Um, the <laughs> I don't have to accompany you uh, as is normal for this spell. Incredible. Uh, but you all do need to hold hands. That's how the spell works. I hear a thought you washed yours this morning, right? <laughs> here a thought looks at you and like smirks and says, I'm not going with you. Oh, oh, not all. Okay. Amazing. That's not an answer. That's not the no. That's not a yes, though. That's not the either. even. Cosmic. Okay, fine. <laughs> Come on. Usually Suck work on box. those before you go from honestly. <laughs> he like he snorts and he says, you guys are don't die. Oh god. You would love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Make that happen. I, I I actually wouldn't. You're an asshole, but Donella's right. You did good. Don't know how to interact with sincerely with you. It's <laughs> making me uncomfortable. Uh, your, sh <laughs> your shoes are fine. Oh, Did I get them somatic components going? <laughs> 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 and here I thought, like he, his smirk gets bigger, as though he has done what he meant to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah. once everybody is holding hands, uh, Fenris is up on hind legs with paws out, um, <laughs> holding, I think he's between so Selyse and Dahani. So <laughs> they're holding hands together. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, and uh, Danella, she holds this, um, <clears throat> this, tuning, this tuning rod in her hand and she bangs it against her palm and uh, it begins to echo, uh, to to sound and 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 create this resonant echo around the caldera, and the wind whips up around you, and um, you feel this kind of that 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 flip in your belly when you uh, when you're going down a roller coaster hill, um, which is I hate it. Um, uh, <laughs> And um, the next thing that you know, uh, as the wind kind of dies down, you are standing in Waterdeep. <laughs> not quite, not quite Troll School Manor. She doesn't like. It's not that. It's not that attuned. But you are standing. Um, roll me. Somebody roll me a d8. Five. 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 Uh, you are standing um, amidst uh, a, 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 it's not quite a barren field, but you're standing amongst uh, dappled trees and um, various gravestones. You've landed in the city of the dead, the, the, the graveyard. Mm. <laughs> quite the welcome home, but all right, <laughs> this will do. Mm. Mm. Just give me a No, it's it. <laughs> It's okay. It's be it'd be disrespectful if I vomited here. I can hold it. It's okay. Uh, let's let's get out of the graveyard. Yeah. You have landed um, under a particularly gorgeous tree. Oh, or we could have a picnic. Okay. You know, I, food I said about... and drinks and more food. No, no graveyard picnics. You always you always have the weirdest conversations. No. Oh, but it's okay. nice. It's quiet. <laughs> I am not quiet, but <laughs> I meant I meant the graveyard, not ah uh, ah uh, right. Yes, okay. <laughs> As I know, we should we should uh, for no absolutely no reason uh, whatsoever. We should we should head home to the manor just to you know. I'm sure Duo and Brian miss us terribly, and we should just we go say hi before anything else as soon as possible quickly. Well, you are having this discussion. Uh, the the kind of 
the the tremor of your arrival knocks two acorns off of this tree and they hit Kent and Virgil in the head. Just like knock, knock. Oh. <laughs> uh I look up because if there's an animal, we're gonna have an issue. And if there's a spirit, then I might have a new friend. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's just two, it's just two acorns. Like it's literally just like your like the 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 tremor of you landing on the ground just oh I see two acorns I off see. this tree. Mm -hmm. What a good oh, tree. No reason to dwell on what is very clearly and obviously a purely coincidental happenstance. <laughs> no not at all. deeper meaning whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We're still gonna get those acorns if they don't pick them up. <laughs> I mean, we're under a tree, so looking down, I assume that there are other acorns already on the ground. No, or, actually. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, can I make a nature check on the, uh, these, uh, these uh, acorns? A little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We are now yeah, terrified go. of acorns. <laughs> I'm going to make a nature check on this, uh, this acorn <laughs> right, right. tree. Yeah, real fast. I'm going to make a nature and see. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I love this so much. I love yeah. this so much. Virtually Nat like, 20. Cool. Nat 20? Nat 20 on nature. Wow. That makes it Get a 27. Oh, that's amazing. I, beats, my, beats my 27. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh Celise, uh these appear to be two completely normal acorns but <laughs> you as you kind of get a, a a look at this tree you know what tree this is yeah and uh i just kind of go up to it and lean my head against the tree and, and very quietly talk to it sure do you, do you say anything in particular or is this just a conversation between, like literally just between you and the tree? Uh, between me and the tree and then um, I, I ignore them. I ignore everybody because only Shaka would understand if he was more talkative. He could give mm -hmm. some context. <laughs> uh, I, I talk to the tree for a few minutes, give it a very gentle pat and uh, if you didn't know, Brady, you swear this lease was trying not to cry. I, we're okay, Celise. It was just a yeah, it's just an acorn. We're it's yeah, we're okay. okay. But, but Shaka, like Sh Shaka, he he does notice what who what tree this is, and um, he doesn't necessarily like talk y'all down, but he just kind of like he walks up to to you all as you are can as you are debating whether or not this tree is haunted and he just places a hand on your shoulders and uh kind of like tells you to give Celise a moment yeah come on guys let's uh we can we'll, we'll be the front line of the party on the way home you all take your time uh i'll uh sort of grab the folks to leave if we want to leave like shaka and Celise at the tree for a little bit yeah, yeah. Sure. I, okay. Look, I'm loud, but I do pick up on cues. We can go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so the four of you uh, will begin, yeah, begin your walk. And, and Shaka will come up to you. And I'm so, so random and I'm so bad. I'm so mad Shriek isn't here. Uh, but Aww. Shaka will come up to you and just kind of put his hand on your shoulder and put his hand on the tree. Yeah, I'm like, we're back home, buddy. And you swear that you feel the tree, like the tree shudders as if there was something up in the branches, but you look up and there's nothing there. Yeah, I just I just pocket the acorns and pat them and just pull it together. And uh, depending on how much we have to drink that night, I may share the story of why this tree made me so emotional. And for those of you that, don't know why Sleece and Shock would be emotional. Go read our wiki. Or go to um, rivalswaterview.com, check out some backlogs. You know, we got yeah. some old episodes. <laughs> um, but you all do uh, eventually, uh, the the four, everybody but Shaka and Sleece make it home first, but they're not too far behind. Um, as you head to the North Ward uh, and 
to Troll Skull Manor, which as you all stand outside it, is still standing. Huh. Of course it is. is. Yeah. Of course it is. I didn't what bounce else you. would I... be happening to it? Never right. right. sweat. <laughs> Not uh, version... it's still standing. People are walking into it. Wait, what? <laughs> we are back open Sorry. for um, business? This is the, like, I thought you guys said 63%. I didn't know we were. Um, Because we've been gone, like, what, two-ish days? Yeah, like about two days. Two -ish. That was only two days? Well, no, Kenton well, no, since we since yeah, we left. Yeah. There is a bit of concern. Um, there's like a slight note of concern as as Virgil's reassuring that like it's it's fine, but he does quicken his pace just a bit to look at basically the people walking in. Um, do they look like anyone else or just normal, you know, water deep folks? They appear to be normal water Davians, just normal folk. I mean, the huh. place didn't used to be an inn. <laughs> I just didn't think we left it. We didn't tell them to open it. <laughs> well, you know Duo. I mean, I, there can be a lot of things said about him, but a bit of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Let's be kind and call it initiative uh, mm. is not unheard of. If we are walking into another convention, I swear. No, no, no. It's probably just the think the, the carnival is still here? <laughs> so the, when 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 I say people walking in, I don't mean a line of people. It looks like maybe oh. one or two people who are just okay great. going inside. That's good. Well, we really should go inside and see what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, you uh, head inside, mm -hmm. and um, aside from Duo and Brian and the. Uh, extraordinarily obvious bassinet by the hearth. Um, there are only Pierce, maybe four people in here, and they're just sitting and drinking. Any sign of Brian or Duo? Yeah, actually, uh, Brian is behind the bar. Uh, who okay. is? Uh, and he he is actually saying, uh, uh, "Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Troll Skull Manor. What can we get for you today?" Um, it, uh, to, to the two who have just come in and uh, you hear movement in the kitchen. Oh, God. <laughs> um. <laughs> We're all just frozen in fear. Uh, <laughs> um. uh, as you step inside, uh, Brian notices you and says, oh, you're back, welcome. Thanks. Thank you, Brian. How are things? Things are good. Why wouldn't things be good? We left and there was a convention last time. And well, yeah, that was is spotless. Yes. It's, it's not spotless. It is cleaner than when you two left. Okay. Dings. Um, seven pointed, but all right. That was needlessly, needlessly. Um, and Rude. Virgil just kind of leans in, you know, like as 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 though one can lean conspiratorially to a brain in a jar. <laughs> and uh, where is the fervor? And <laughs> Brian, the brain in a jar in a body, leans into <laughs> you and says. The bebe is in the bassinet. Mm. When you and say it like that, now I'm curious. Uh, yeah, I, like walk over. I'm just, I was just responding in the way that Virgil <laughs> asked, asked me. Brought that on myself, I did. I actually, um, yeah. I realize now that I actually have no reason to not believe that. So Kent is gonna like hustle back into the kitchen to head off any disaster there before Shaka and Salise and Gosring get back there. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Virgil uh, was clearly concerned because people people are here and it it was a thing during the con, but. Yeah, I figure yeah. you've got that under control. One hundo <laughs> fine, fine, yep. That feels you know, like it, a more it, subtle job, so. Everything is 100 p fine. Uh, you go over to the bassinet and the bebe is indeed in there. Aww. 
How you doing, little Bobby? Virgil, the Pepe is in the bassinet. Yeah. What's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that? Mora. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. that, was, no. that was specifically for our Shit's Creek fans. Yeah, <laughs> it's a thousand percent. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, the the it's it's fine. It's it's a a rather large bass, and you know, it's mm-hmm. huge because mm-hmm. dragon wormlings are large. Yeah. So he's he's fine. He's just in there chilling, like you know, la- laying down face so on. <laughs> Hey, bud. Yeah, yeah. good bud. Okay. And, He's fine. Uh, Kent, you head into the kitchen and yeah, Duo's in there. Just and the, he He's getting bottles and stuff. And it's like clean and, and not broken and So clean is well. <laughs> when, when you're talking about Duo, yeah, this is this is amazing. Sure. Right, yeah, that's, yeah. I, that's really what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Is has There's a nothing... bomb gone off in the kitchen? <laughs> no, a bomb has not gone off in the kitchen. Okay, uh, wow. But yeah, he's he's grabbing he's grabbing bottles of wine. I'm gonna immediately like turn around and go back out and be like, "Holy shit, guys! Duo's like at work and it's fine." And I mean, guys, Duo's at work and everything's fine. Like everything's we said. fine. Everything's like, fine here. All hundred percent. Fine. Yes. I thought, yeah, guys, it seemed to be okay. The dragon's okay. Everyone seems to be all right. Yep. Yeah. Good job. Let's. Y- yep. Yeah. And duo kind of like scoots out from around you because I, I imagine you're in the kitchen doors. You're saying that, and he scoots around and he's like, "Yeah, why wouldn't things be fine?" We, I mean, we told you we handle it. My it's fine. Favorite thing every season is the new DM doing duo. <laughs> I have to give it to you. Come on. I, yeah. I know. Yeah, I absolutely. appreciate it. Um, no, I mean, no reason. It's just, you know, we were reassuring them because we ended up spending an extra day and, sure, sure, you know, sure. we're just reassuring not to worry because everything was under control. Yeah, no, Apparently. we were a little worried about that. Like, we only just opened today because you said not to open until you got back, but we didn't know when you'd be back. Uh, so. Initiative. We, you know, we, we gave you the day and we finished cleaning and everything is, is good. Uh, Gazrik, your stall is, and you actually, Gazrik, you look back at the stall and it's actually like been covered with a tarp. I think Danella might've sent us to an alternate universe. I did. I so. No way. Um, mm. And yeah, all the, like the, the door to the office is closed yeah. and the other doors are closed and the, 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 the staircase is roped off still. And yeah, there's just bar patrons and, and things look normal. I immediately don't trust where this. We're, <laughs> that's where we're going to end for today. I was about to make an insight no. check on it all. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> like, they look normal is the worst way to end it. why like it's mm-hmm. worse than like and around the corner we'll have to find that's out that's perfect no. right, right 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 <laughs> things look normal god okay i love it oh my god mm. we're home I'm with, everybody we're home we're back we're home, home. We're back we're home. Back. i'm with kent that we are in an alternate reality yeah and none of us agree to <laughs> <laughs> Duo is being responsible. We surely are not in our own reality. I mean, we, mm-hmm. we got back to Waterdeep. The Trollskull Manor was exactly where we left it, which is already suspect. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right. It didn't move? What's Its wrong? Its address stay the same? What? <laughs> <laughs> Kent, and, oh, Kent and Virgil get back and it's like, oh, no, no, no. Trollskull Manor is six inches to the left. This is as it should be. <laughs> <laughs> That is such a them them thing to do with you. <laughs> but yeah, we're home and everything's fine. And if things everything is fine, and things will continue to be fine next week. Spoiler: They were not fine. Mm. <laughs> mm. Narrator's voice: They were not fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, with ten minutes left in the stream, as always, we are going to take some questions. Uh, please be sure to preface your question with the word question in all caps so that we catch it. Um, And in the meanwhile, we are going to go around the opposite direction and tell you all who we are, where you can find us, 
and all that good stuff. So uh, we started with uh, Miss Yu, so we will start this time with Tanya. Yo, um, let's see, where can you find me? Actually, in three hours, you can come over to my channel. We're going to do a deep dive rewatch of uh, Legend of Vox Machina of episode seven to nine and uh, do a bit of chatting, things like that, and try to find all the Easter eggs that we didn't see the first two times that we watched it. That's five central. And then um, Thursday, back with Black Dice Society. Ben has revealed part of her plan, so that'll be interesting. And Sundays I'm back here, and all those in between, I'll be doing streams. I got the new Hot Wheels game. Ooh. So, yes, racing with Hot Wheels, y'all. So that's going to happen at that's some fun. point. Hell yeah. Yeah, and it's multiplayer, Brian. We could race with Hot Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Were you... I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, I was just going to say cipher to you everywhere. That's it. Say hi on the internet. Be nice. <laughs> exactly. All right, Brian. Who got me thinking about racing with Hot Wheels? Um, Hi, I am Brian. I am Urban Bohemian pretty much everywhere on the internet. Uh, you can find me uh, here every Sunday and uh, my own channel on Tuesday, which I have no idea what I'm going to be doing because I took the weekend off and it's like I haven't even streamed at all. And uh, then on Saturday is another thing that I haven't scheduled yet. And Sunday is more Animal Crossing. But more importantly, if you play Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms and you're a fan, and I know you've already got every one of the rivals of Waterdeep who are already in the game in your formation, you're going to need something to do some clicking for you. So you should hop on in and buy Disco the Baby Moonstone Dragon, currently a charity familiar available in game. All sales between February 9th and February 22nd, the net proceeds of all those sales will benefit the Canadian Cancer Society. So honestly, if you have seen art of Disco or if you've seen Disco in game, Disco is so freaking adorable that um, would basically live, die, and fight wars for this baby Moonstone Dragon. And uh, I was recently in a charity one-shot moon dance, which is still up on uh, twitch.tv slash CNE Games VODs. And... Um, Recently, I talked to the Glendale, oh shoot, I had it and I lost it. Uh, Glendale Library Arts and Culture Teen Talks podcast, that's up on their YouTube channel. Uh, look at my Twitter to find information about that, but pretty much follow my Twitter and that's where everything I'm doing is happening. And uh, that's it, I think. Yeah, done. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Eugenio, my gosh. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio. Uh, you can find me on the internet, on Twitter, and here on Twitch at DM Jazzy Hands. Um, this has been a blast. Where can you find me this week? Tomorrow uh, night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, uh, the next episode of A Familiar Quest over on uh, CNE Games Twitch channel. Um, it's me and Nega Oryx and uh, Michelle, I am Toby Bunny, and Megan Kenrick all playing as uh, uh, unwarlocked and wizarded familiars. Uh, trying to save, uh, actually, we kind of think now all of reality. We're not really uh, totally sure. Um, but we'll have a special episode of that uh, tomorrow night. It was pre recorded, so some of us may be in chat. Uh, but we, uh, your code name was adamant that we got our Valentine's Day off. So we recorded, <laughs> uh, we recorded tomorrow night session last night. Uh, so we will have a, we will have that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm live on my channel and then back here on Sundays for more rivals. Uh, and every Wednesday, we are dropping episodes of my D&D Actual Play podcast, which is in uh, its ninth season of probably 10. So we're getting close to the end there, but it's called Ooh. The Last Refuge. You can check us out. Uh, things are getting exciting. That's me. Excellent. And then we will end it with, well, <clears throat> well I, I'm last, but Masood, say, say stuff. Oh, hey, I'm a suit. I'm saying things. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Marudeboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Um, and I'm here streaming with these wonderful folks on Sundays playing Rivals of Waterdeep. And you also catch me on Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 to 5 Central. So that is 1 to 3 Pacific and 4 to 6 Eastern and 2 to 4 Mountain. I'm going to do it awkward each time just to test myself. <laughs> and yeah, you can catch me on playing Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus where we're analyzing it. Like I said in a tweet earlier this week, through the lens of religious con uh, conflict and information destruction through time. So it's, it is a blast. Uh, it is a, it's really fun it's game and I'm having a really good time playing it. it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where you can catch me. Um, and yeah, I'll have more stuff to talk about later in the year, but until then, that's what I got going on. Uh, excellent. And oh gosh, that's me. Hi, I'm Latia. I'm the DM. You can find me across Twitter at Latia Jaquise, which is my name. 
Um, again, yeah. I don't have a whole lot going on. You know, I may do a stream this week because I got some really cool stuff that I kind of want to show off and uh, maybe that'll happen. Um, but if not, you can always find out what I'm up to by going to my Twitter where I say uh, entirely too much about everything. Um, <laughs> okay. uh, and so uh, before we get to our questions, I'm going to do it every week. Be prepared. I just want to give a shout out to our producer, Noir, who is wonderful and uh, makes certain that the streams go off every week. So, uh, Noir, we love you and you can't do anything about it. Um, just, and we did just went to hide. Turn Yay. camera off. Look at that. <laughs> So we did get a couple of questions for some of our uh, characters in, in, in the game. So question for Fenris, what are your first impressions of the baby dragon, Uwu? <laughs> you're muted. You're muted. I bet you're muted. Yeah. I can't even do it with a straight face. Um, I will never say those two words. You are not going to trick me like you did, Brian. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fenris just goes over and sniffs at it and then looks back at Celise and is kind of like, dinner? <laughs> just did get fed dragon chat. That is, that is honestly, true. That's true. We may, it, have, we may have been, this, yeah. We should have planned, planned ahead. Yeah, like the RCA on dog, one ear is up. Yep. <laughs> Dragons are friends, not food. Right. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a question for Virgil. Were you worried about the bebe when you were not in water deep? Uh, yeah, Virgil was worried about Troll Skull, period, but very, very much so that just because of the relative size difference that uh, Brian and Duo might have difficulty uh, tending to the wormling while they were away. Very worried. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Good to know. Um, and then uh, last question for Brian, the brain in a jar, in a body, in a manner, in a city, on the continent. In a world. <laughs> in, in a world. On, on yes. a plane, in a universe. Right. <laughs> in a multiverse. Uh, in a multiverse. Right. Are you, you adding parts to your body from things that you find around the place? Um, no, actually. Um, I go frequently for maintenance with Zephyr from the temple. Mm -hmm. And uh, my body is much more body-like now. Um, he's, he talked about something, he talked about something called an, a nimble rite that uh, I have bits and pieces from. So yeah, I'm less a, less a construct, more of a, construct that's not how i wanted that to go <laughs> that was excellent Le more construct less constructed mm, i like go. that that's nice nice mm -hmm. um and that's gonna do it uh we're gonna raid somebody yeah, we don't yeah. know who but uh stick around for that and uh we're gonna go raid technic we're gonna go read Technic. So uh, stick around, be kind when you head into Technic's chat and mm -hmm. we love you all. And we will see you next, next week, week for a completely normal episode of Rivals of <laughs> Stop saying that word. It makes me so nervous. The more you say completely oh, normal, I don't know.